Hello everyone, I just thought I would give you a rundown video of the dual toroid system with the earth ground connections and, and how this system functions. I'm not going to run the system obviously, but it's all completely configured here. So it, it starts right here. This is your first earth ground and that goes on the one side of the capacitor that comes with the kit. The earth energy and the high voltage energy, the grounded outside of the high voltage transformer. And uh, this transformer, this configuration has the, um, the dual neutral plane that accelerates the neutral voltage a little bit higher. And uh, for reasons I've already explained. Um, so after that goes these rectifiers I've ordered. I've just placed these ones here uh, to represent them. There's two of them going there and a common ground. But this is not a ground. This is the second neutral plane. At a higher potential than this neutral plane. But they are center ta tapped from the end of the primary coil. Okay, so we've got that all under control. This is operating in resonance because this is earth grounded. It completes the whole system. Everything is working there. We're getting rectified, ganging the two together uh, into the capacitor. Now, uh, this is the disruptive discharge capacitor, not the self-run situation with the big capacitor. Um, this is just a 4 microfarads and a spark gap. And... Um, these are getting charged from here and it's using this neutral so that and because that's an artificial neutral to this neutral which is an elevated ground plane from this artificial minus 5000 volts we have uh, as our ground reference so we have a 5000 volt artificial ground reference to earth ground uh, to our ground plane which is uh, it's oscillating between 0 and f minus 5000 and that's on the second earth ground wire which is on the end of the primary step down coil so this if we have 5000 volts in here and we're jumping in this situation here it's 4000 so we have 4000 volts at 4 microfarads and we're going to arc that to ground we're actually going to see the potential difference of 9,000 volts, 4,000 volts here, and the minus 5,000 that the ground reference is, and that gets arced out to ground. Now, uh, in here would be one of those 40 kV 5 amp diodes to block. This is the cool part. This is the output. Um, since this is not a, um, this is like a direct drive unit. We would call this all the way along. We don't have itself running and, and recapturing the, uh, the collapse of the magnetic field because we're actually using the earth ground here. So we're pumping all these amps into the earth, right, against our earth ground here. So it's kind of going to like compress and then it's going to fly back the hell up this, <laughs> this wire with the collapse of the magnetic field. And we don't want that to come and really fill everything up and blow all the shit up. So we put that big diode here. Um, what that's going to do is stop it from going anywhere. Now it can't go anywhere. The only thing it can do is remain magnetic. And that causes it to... to it forces the, mag, the electric collapse that was about to happen electrically here. It forces this to happen magnetically here in the core. And the only place to go out are the output wires. So this will contain, when we block it here, this will contain the, the electric collapse magnetic and force it out our secondary with the inrush earth energy because this is grounded. So uh, it should be a, a really cool setup. I think uh, that's the dual toroid design, how I'm going to configure them uh, without that big capacitor just straight in uh, running this out of the source, raising the voltage here in resonance, encompassing, uh, encompassing the, uh, the second neutral plane, and then discharging to ground to complete the final loop. And when the ground pushes back, 
well then we're going to get not only the collapse but all this electrical energy you know rushing out of the ground all right guys that's it i thought i'd just give you a quick rundown of the dual toroid system and how i am configuring them ciao